Hey everyone, Blur here. Let's say you're about to play some Super Smash Flash 2 on the computer, and a really fun game by the way. But you have to play with a keyboard, and you have to do all these things like this and stuff, and it's really annoying because we're used to playing with a game controller, especially us that have played um, other Smash games, you know, we're used to some sort of controller, and for some reason McLeod doesn't have the option of using a game controller in the Super Smash Flash 2. So, what I'll do today is teach you guys how you can play with a game controller in Super Smash Flash 2 without McLeod making it for us. So, without further ado, let's do it! Okay, people, so now what you need to do to have your game controller run in Super Smash Flash 2 is you need to write a code. A code that will tell the computer to treat your game controller like, uh, you know, the keys on your keyboard, because that's what Super Smash Flash 2 runs on, is the keys on your keyboard. Now, you don't have to worry, we've already written a code, not, well, not myself personally, Fluky Uncanny, I just want to give him all the credit for this, <clears throat> excuse me. I just want to give him all the credit for this because he's the one that came up with the the, uh, the idea and he wrote this code. Um, he wrote this program in um, well, it's not really a program, but he wrote this code in Auto Hotkey, which is just a, a simple program that will allow you to set up uh, you know keys and and commands and stuff like that. So that's what he did. He wrote this code so the keys on your keyboard are mapped to your buttons on your controller. So uh, what you need to do is go in the description below and download. Uh, click on the link and go download this program. Um, or it's not it's not a program. I keep wanting to call it a program, but it's not really a program. It's an executable. So download this executable and you don't have to install anything. You just download it and run it. So I'll wait for you and once you get back, then we'll continue. So go do that now. Maybe I'll eat some yogurt. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Deviating from my usual coffee, but it's good. Okay, so now that you've done that, oh, by the way, um, uh, Fluke did say that if any of you guys do want the code for this, just to mess around with it or, you know, edit yourself, um, then he's, uh, more than willing to give it to you guys. So if you do want that, um, the code for this, since this is just an executable and, uh, um, the code isn't coming with it, it's compressed already. So, um, <clears throat> if you do want that, then leave in the comments below and we'll probably just, uh, we'll get it out to you guys somehow. We'll probably just have another link in the description where you can download the source code for it. So now that you've done that, here we go. Here's the program right here. So, um, what you need to do to play is, of course, attach, uh, plug in your game controller. So I'm gonna do that right now. Plug that in. Sorry if that was really loud. Um, that's the sound of my, uh, USBs being plugged in. So now I have my controller plugged in. And what you'll need to do is start this up. Now, it won't show up anything. It's not going to like pop up an application or anything. But it does show down here on your taskbar here, uh, Super Smash Flash Joy Executable. So what this is, is uh, the program running. You can suspend the hotkeys, you can pause the script, you can exit it. Um, <clears throat> so this is all things nice. So just to prove that this is working. Um, oh, ooh, things are flying around. No, no, no. Okay, so um, I'm moving my joystick and pressing buttons on my controller and it is pressing buttons. Uh, on the keyboard because it's acting like that so it's pretty cool so it's working so but just, you know be careful this is you know mapped to your controller so uh, the keys are mapped to your controller so just remember to uh, pause it or exit it whenever you uh, aren't going to be using it because then it'll be typing stuff you'll be like what's going on here anyway so um, yes now that you've got that what you'll do is start up Super Smash Flash 2 and here we go. So it's going to be big screen. It's going to be running a little slow because um, recording and having it a uh, big screen or full screen. Not, not, it's not big screen. It's full screen. Anyway, um, having it full screen sometimes slows it down. So let's go to controls. And here we go. So I've already got them set up. Let me just uh, show you. So I press my up uh, on my analog stick and it does caps. Wait, that's not supposed to happen. Ugh. Here we go. Let's try that again. There we go. One. So it's treating them as the numbers on your number row. So in, you can see here, I've got this all set up, but now what I'll do is go over to player two. So um, Fluke did this, did set this up for uh, up to four players. So you can have four controllers. I've got another controller here and uh, up arrow goes to Q, down arrow goes to W, left arrow E, right arrow. Well, they're not arrows, they're the analog sticks. And then jump, I'll set up as X. Um, and you'll have to just mess around with this, whatever you want. Uh, grab, I'll have 
P, which it's the uh, the right trigger or the Z trigger, uh, the top right Z trigger, and then attack would be A, special will be B, shield will be right trigger, left trigger, sorry, um, and uh, pause. Now, uh, Fluke didn't set this up to. I'm just gonna set the pause to be enter on my keyboard, um, and then taunt will be uh, Y or yeah Y. And dash. So you'll have to mess around with this. Now, the, the, the buttons uh, Fluke mapped are the left and right triggers, the top right Z trigger, the A, B, X, and Y uh, buttons, and the analog. So he didn't map the start button, the left, the top left, uh, or the, the left Z trigger, or the C stick, or the D pad. So he didn't map those because um, not all controllers will have those. But Right now, he's got it set up so uh, just a basic controller can run. So if you do want the script to you know, add in your own stuff, then you can do that. But uh, yes, right now, this will work. So now, with a dash, since this is thinking um, it's not an analog, you'll have to mess around with a dash, whoever you want. Auto dash, uh, that's the one I have it on, um, usually over here in my, on my main. And I turn the tap jump off because I want to be able to do up tilts since I have the jump set up here. Um, and then you can also set it up for walk, which... Uh, I, I do use, but um, not not that much. Uh, so just leave that uh, blank, I guess. Whatever you want to do, um, you can set it up to your heart's content. So uh, yeah, that's all you need to do. This will run. Um, so let me just uh, show it to you guys real quick here. Solo training, and uh, here we go. Um, let's play as Captain Falcon. Uh, no, let's play as Sonic. He's my main. Now, my mains are Sonic, Captain Falcon, uh, Martha, and actually Black Mage. I mean, I'll just play back Black Mage because I think he's really good. So, anyway, Peach and ready to fight. Let's go to FT. And, uh, yes, here just to prove it. So, now, a, a word of caution. This is kind of treating it as... It is. It is treating it as uh, um, arrows because... So, just you must be a little bit careful um, where... Um, to not do a side special. See, I meant to do a side special there, and it did an up special. So, it is treating it like there's no analog, so it's not going to really, like, do, uh, like, the diagonals very well. Um, so, it's treating it like, you know, the keys. So, you must be careful and make sure not to do a down tilt or, a, you know, a down special when you mean an up special. So, just get used to that. It's a little bit different than, you know, it's not going to be as accurate as, um, <clears throat> just a normal analog. But it is going to be much better. So, yeah, so it even works with two player. Let's see. Pause? No, wait, is this pause? What is the pause button? Did this work? No. Nope. I don't even know what the pause button is. Did I even set it up? Uh, okay, I just cut to this because I need to set up the pause because I, I realize there's no pause button for some reason. So, anyway, the back I'm just going to set as the pause, which is the uh, right trigger, I guess. Yeah, the right trigger. Anyway, so there we go. Um. Yeah, my, my buttons are a little weird. Um, I'm using uh, a Power A Wii U Pro controller, uh, a mini Wii U Pro controller, so it's a little bit different. They've got the Z buttons mixed up, and so uh, it's, it's a little different for me, so I have to set it up a little different. But you guys will set up however you want, because that's what it's there for. So let's go training again. Sorry for that little delay. Let's play with Captain Falcon this time. It's always Peach. Why is it always Peach? It's supposed to be random, but it's not. Okay, so here we go, and then we'll go to pause and change the CPU to uh, human, which should set up for second player's controls. Let me get the second player's. There we go. Yep, and so second player works as well. So uh, you can do all kinds of stuff, and uh, yeah, hopefully this will be fun for you. So, um, yeah, this should actually really help you, especially since now they've added on the um, added in the online feature uh, McLeod Gaming has just added that in um, and so that's will give you guys a big advantage but you're playing with the controller and they have to play with the keyboard so uh, yes good luck with that hopefully this video was helpful um, that's all I have to say so 